Lincoln Riley, an innocent young woman who was killed by an illegal. That's right. But how many of thousands of people being killed by illegals? To her parents, I say, my heart goes out to you, having lost children myself. Now, those comments from President Biden during last week's State of the Union sparking some fury over his use of the term illegal to describe the suspected killer of the Georgia nursing student, Lakin Riley. The suspect is from Venezuela. Many Democrats, progressive activists, and some of the media calling him out over it. A reporter pressed him about it the next day, but the president did not immediately back off. However, by Saturday, the president had changed his tune, telling Jonathan Capar, quote, I shouldn't have used illegal it's undocumented when I spoke about the difference between Trump and me. One of the things I talked about in the border was his, the way he talks about vermin, the way he talks about these people polluting the blood. I'm not going to treat any, any, any of these people with disrespect. We welcome now News Nation media contributor and founding editor of Mediate, Colby Hall. Uh, Colby, great to see you. So, you know, I think the million dollar question in all of this is we're talking about a suspect who authorities say came into the country illegally, was arrested before. Uh, why the concern over what he's called when we have a woman who lost her life in this story? It's a great question. And everything about the story is frustrating to me and sort of angers me. Um, you know, President Biden used the term illegal in his speech that I, when I heard, I thought, well, that will appeal to the right because that's long been a term that they use, which, you know, has been argued is sort of dehumanizing. Um, and I thought that that was sort of a centrist win for Biden, but it was his progressive side that said, ah, 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 you're not supposed to say that for, for reasons well I'll explain later. So, you know, he sort of succumbed to the more progressive side, and now he's being blamed by the right for saying that he apologized to the killer. He didn't. What he's saying is that it's this massive group of immigrants are not all illegal. It would be, and, and there was, you know, this goes back to the teens, like 2015, where there was a threat, a spike in violence against undocumented illegal immigrants. And when you dehumanize them, it's easier to do bad things towards these people. So here we are. The president said good things about this tragic death of Lake and Riley. I don't think he was apologizing or trying to show respect to the killer. I think he was trying to say that immigrants as a group aren't all, shouldn't all be dismissed. And I think the progressives sort of put Biden in a tough spot where he had to apologize for what was otherwise sort of a nice political win for him. You know, and I think also, you know, to put this all in context, he did at one point mispronounce Lake and Riley's name. So do you think the media kind of blew this out of proportion when you have the backdrop to this story? And, you know, in terms of outrage over the coverage of that one word, do you think that it was out of touch considering how many Americans are truly upset about what's happening at the border and the risks the nation now face because of it? Well, the mispronouncing of that word, first of all, is, uh, you know, he wasn't that far off. It's sort of a unique name, Lakin. You know, if that's the, the smallest gaffe that Biden had all night, I think he would have taken that because it was it was pretty close. And I, I don't know if that's that would have been a little bit too gotcha. Um, you know, as for the, the, you know, the other side to this, it's stunning to me how poor the, the Biden administration or how late they were to deal with the border crisis, which is universally a massive concern across the political spectrum, and most of the political spectrum. And, you know, they're trying to pass a border bill and they're trying to put it on Trump and the Republicans for not passing this. Well, where have they been for the last three years? I mean, it's only, it's it, it, yes, the Republicans are, are, are can be criticized for slowing things down, but you can also criticize the Biden mission for looking the other way and pretending that this isn't a huge deal. So. Yeah, I, you know, I, I, again, I think from a reasonable sort of centrist point of view, um, the Biden administration is really sort of deserves a lot of criticism here. But playing gotcha with word games, both from the progressives and conservatives that are trying to make more hay out of this, it's sort of it's why we can't have nice things. Like, can we just move past the gotcha and get to the point that this is a tragic death? The border crisis needs to be solved immediately. And word games is not helping either of those situations. Yeah, absolutely. I think we can all agree on that. All right, Colby Hall, thank you as always.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.